Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom, the toy robot. Princess Holly, Ben Elf and their friends, Barnaby and Strawberry, were playing a game of fetch with Gaston the Ladybird. Ruff, ruff! Gaston likes fetching sticks, but this time he has found something else. That looks like a tin arm, cries Barnaby. Gaston, says Ben, looking at the object curiously. Where did you find this? Gaston leads everybody through the grass to a place where he found the arm. Wow! The children gasp, surprised. It's a toy robot, cries Ben, but it's a bit broken. We could mend it with magic, suggests Strawberry. No, we'll fix it the elf way, says Barnaby. Elves are very good at fixing things. And... We're elves, cheer Ben and Barnaby proudly. They blow their elf horns as loudly as they can. Toot! Bang, bang, clunk, clunk. Ben and Barnaby are fixing the toy robot. They're all finished, says Ben. Oh, cry the fairies, clapping their hands excitedly. Will it talk? Will it make me a cup of tea? asks Strawberry. No, it's just a toy, says Ben. It will do this. Ben and Barnaby do a very funny toy robot walk. <coughs> Let's switch the robot on, says Ben. He presses a button but nothing happens. I'll magic a key to wind it up, cries Holly. Ben and Barnaby don't want to use a magic key but Holly waves her magic wand Tinkle, tinkle. Suddenly, the robot opens his eyes and looks at Ben. Master, what is your name? Uh, I'm Ben Elf, says Ben nervously. Ben Elf, you are my master, says the robot. I only answer to my master. The wise old elf arrives and Ben tells him how he and Barnaby fixed the robot. Oh, yes. The elf factor is Z33, explains the wise old elf. A basic model. The robot does not like being called basic, so he picks the wise old elf up and waves him in the air. Robot, shouts Ben. Put the wise old elf down. The robot does as Ben says, but then he wanders off. The children run after him as quickly as they can. They run all the way to the little castle. What is this thing? asks Nanny Plum, a little confused. It's a toy robot that does everything Ben says, explains Holly. I'd like one of those to do all of my cleaning, says Nanny Plum. Ben lends Nanny Plum the robot for the evening. Robot, says Ben. I'm going home now but I want you to stay here and tidy up everything in the whole of the castle. Yes, Ben Elf, replies the robot obediently. Ben goes home and the robot zooms around the little castle, tidying up everything as fast as he can. Must tidy up, must tidy up, he repeats loudly over and over again. King Thistle thinks the robot is doing a good job at first, but then he gets out of control. Must tidy up, must tidy up, must tidy up, must tidy up. We should tell this robot to stop, says Queen Thistle. We can't, cries Holly. The robot only listens to Ben and Ben told him to tidy the whole castle. Maybe we should go to bed and let the robot finish. The royal family go to sleep. But soon after, the robot wakes them up. He picks them up and takes them outside along with all the castle furniture. The robot is tidying everything up, cries Holly. Yes, gasps King Thistle, including us. Only Ben can stop this, says Holly. So Queen Thistle telephones Ben Elf's mum, Mrs Elf. Mrs Elf wakes Ben up. There's an emergency at the little castle. We have to go. So Ben gets the elves together and they walk to the little castle, singing as they go. Who's the best at rescuing? chants the wise old elf. Elves are best at rescuing, reply all the elves. 
And what are we? Responds the wise elf. We're elves! Shout the elves. Toot! Elves soon find the fairies and notice the robot is moving slower and slower. Master! Says the robot, seeing Ben, but suddenly its eyes close and it stops. Hooray! Everyone cheers. Uh, I think it was my magic key that made the robot act so strangely, admits Holly. Just then, Gaston the ladybird arrives with something in his mouth. Woof, woof! It's the proper key, gasps Ben. Well done, Gaston. Ben takes the key and starts winding up the robot. Er, uh, Ben, are you sure that's a good idea? asks King Thistle. It will be fine, replies Ben. The robot starts to walk along with its arms out. Creak, 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 <laughs> creak, 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 chant the children doing the toy robot walk. Ah, oh, that's the toy robot I remember, says the wise old elf, smiling. Must say goodbye, must say goodbye.